What's up traders? This is Marco. We have Friday the 28th of April. I have another bar by bar for you today and you can see here in front of you the ES chart. This is a 2000 tick chart and I'm coming to DBC always around 7 in the morning and you can see here during the overnight price section there was some downtrend working lower. So I'm drawing these channels always before I start. You can see there was a break retest of the lows and from there some bigger range here, some congestion area. And um, just before the market opened, uh, you can see here an uptrend working higher. You can see how prices make higher lows and higher highs like um, constantly here and leaving the range to the top side. So right now um, this downtrend here played out by a break new low. Then we had some range movement and now we're pushing higher here within the shorter term uptrend channel. So the bias is uh, slightly uh, bullish. We're looking for long and let's see how this goes. I will zoom in here a bit so that you can see this better. So we have a first entry and at the opening we get a second entry long here um, of the EMA of the um, resistance of the channel of this like range channel that turns into support and also notice we have a first break of this uptrend and after an uptrend is broken we wait and expect a retest of the highs so we have a new high here so first entry second entry long with a perfect bullish bar and i really like this setup here on a second entry long i can understand if you say that for example you are not taking this trade because it's right at the opening um, I think differently a bit because um, I think in general you can take trades during the opening uh, but yeah they can be tricky and there can be fast movements so make sure that your stops are uh, in place and I took this trade live today I can show you even uh, the markers uh, as you know I'm trading always uh, three contracts uh, on uh, 10 accounts so this trade scalped out perfectly and yeah prices were uh, retesting the highs making new highs here and uh, going higher from there also if you uh, have a look also there is a triple uh, test here you can see prices are taking this support here and prices are just bouncing off the EMA making a very nice setup bar here so we really like this setup live so this that's why I took it and yeah prices were trending higher here um, then we can think about a um, spike and channel structure for example where you um, take because you can see uh, prices are flattening out a bit like it's not like a spike structure here but you can see that prices are uh, being a bit flatter here so I'm drawing a spike and channel uh, structure and see how it goes usually we are still bullish so we're waiting for long setups ideally from the key entry point in EMA uh, we get a bounce back here back to DMA but no setup this is only a first entry long and prices take off without um, waiting for us without giving us any setup going higher here uh, and this channel here broke for the first time and prices are retesting the highs so by that moment I was thinking about a bigger structure for example if you take uh, from here let's say and connect this so you take from the lowest point that was made during the overnight price section and you connect the the last recent swings here then this bigger uptrend channel here is forming and you can see prices are respecting the resistance here and of course I'm always drawing the shorter term uh, channels here you uh, know this by now and look if you see all those tiny candles here working higher this is usually um, or this is typical uh, typically for an uptrend we have like tiny um, candles working higher and 
like some uh, minor corrections back to the EMA and back to the key entry point. This midline of the channel is being respected at the moment. And uh, yeah, we're still waiting for good uh, setups here, but we can see some range forming up here. There's a breakout out of, out of this range, but in general, we are looking for longs right now. So um, yeah, I'm not interesting, uh, interested in uh, taking any shorts right now. Right now, price is pulled back to the EMA. And if we are taking this channel, maybe even we can draw it like a bit tighter, like this. That also looks pretty fine. If we connect the highs and the lows, then you can see the midline here is uh, fitting even better a bit. And now we also have some confirmations of the support here. And this is interesting because we can see prices made a new high here first entry. So if we get now a very nice second entry of the key entry point of the EMA, then I'm um, interested in taking a long here because price is coming together at the uh, very important levels here. But unfortunately, there's no setup. Um, we just have a, a first entry here. And this is also like a super small bar. So yeah, if we pull back here and made a new high and then made this low, but still the setup bar here is a doji. And if you take the last three uh, candles on the left, then we have congestion here and we usually stay out of congestion. Prices work higher here. You can see um, that we just missed uh, a potential setup, but it was not forming in the way uh, how we are trading. And whenever we are not sure, we are skipping this. There's a shorter term channel working higher. I'm coloring the channel here so you can see it a bit better. And there's a potential overshoot now. You can see how strong the bulls are coming in here, pushing higher even um, outside the channel. And I think you can draw um, an own channel for this movement. Maybe it's even a bit tighter like this. Then we would have a break and retest of the highs already. So let's see how price action is forming from here. Um, don't um, start with shorting this because with such a strong move here, um, prices could easily uh, turn back and make a new high after that because there is a potential that a bigger structure is in play here. So I will uh, leave it um, like this right now and see how prices are playing out. Okay, here uh, we get a bounce back, but see how prices are flying above the um, EMA here. We are not getting a pullback back to the EMA to consider a long setup. No, we are flying above the EMA here on a second entry, yes, but um, this is far above the EMA. And um, I usually like to see and take um, trades that are much closer to DMA. But of course, we can consider increasing our trend channel here. And you can see now that there is no hidden level where prices bounced off, but that there is a midline from this bigger channel here where prices took support and bounced off unfortunately not um, at the EMA directly because otherwise that would be a um, potential setup here. So prices take higher here and you can see prices are making higher uh, lows all the time. But right now we cannot take a setup here because this is way too far above the EMA. Um, the bias is still strong bullish. So we're looking for longs at this point still. Um, if you treat this not as an overshoot, but part of a bigger channel, and you can see the midline is fitting pretty nicely here. The midline is respected as support, and also the midline is aligning with the EMA. And when you see this, then um, those levels get very, very strong and prices um, behave and um, bounce off those levels uh, usually. Drawing the shorter term channel like this. Yeah, this is strong bullish. We are pushing here strongly 
above the EMA. We don't even have pullbacks here. You can see all the pullbacks that are made are directly taken out. Bears try to pull back here to the EMA to take profits or even to scalp out if they entered here, for example, then they are uh, cost averaging by entering another position, but it's hard to get out of this position right now because prices are pulling higher and higher and you will see like those explosive mu uh, moves usually when, when uh, bears are not getting out of their orders. Now they are finally uh, getting out. You can see this very strong pullback here. This is also profit taking of this huge um, bull uh, buy here. And we are getting um, some kind of uh, second entry long here. You can see prices made a new high pullback. We are not breaking above this level here. Uh, all in this candle here, breaking above, pulling back. I'm not sure which way happened like first. But still, I mean, um, we cannot take a setup here because it's very stacked up. I, I want to see prices coming back to the key entry point and the key entry point is this uh, channel support here. And with this strong bear push below the EMA, I really want to see what's, what's happening. Um, if we get, for example, a second leg down, that would be directly at the key entry point of the uh, channel here. And yeah, we are getting a second leg down. So maybe we can even draw like a measured move. And you can see this is pretty much hit to the tick. We are going even further than that. And that's a change in behavior for sure. Bears are coming in. They're selling this strongly. Also, this is the first break of this huge uptrend here. So we can uh, expect a retest of the highs and we have to see how this is playing out. But in my head, I'm telling myself, okay, this big uptrend here is broken now. So I'm waiting for a retest of the highs, which is pretty much at this level here. You can see now this blue line. So I'm still interested in uh, taking longs, but yeah, right now uh, it's not very clear what prices are doing. We are having this strong drop here below the EMA coming back and uh, yeah, approaching these lows now and going higher again. There's a push above the EMA. Now we want to see if there is any support around the EMA so that prices are taking um, off higher again. This is an inside bar here, so no setup at the moment. We're pushing above. The EMA is providing some support at this level. And yeah, what I was saying before, we have this uptrend first break. So now we want to see a retest of the highs and prices are going higher here. It will be interesting to see what prices are doing when we are approaching the uh, last highs that were made um, here. So we have this shorter term channel working higher here, a first break of this, and now a retest of the highs of this shorter term channel here, but also of the overall um, bull channel that was created here shortly after the opening. Um, but we are not making a new high here. So we're pulling back and selling off strongly here. You can see like the size of the bear bars and they are almost finishing on its low. So that's almost perfect bear bars um, working lower here. So yeah, um, by now it could be already a finished retest. We didn't make a new high though, but sometimes this is happening that prices are retesting the highs. That's why it's called a retest and not making new highs um, because with this strong uh, push lower here. This is a um, reaction and you can see <clears throat> we're breaking this shorter term channel here for the first time, um, making a new low. Right now, no setup to take because we, uh, we wait, wait for pullbacks to the EMA. And um, yeah, this is like taking a trade far below here. Um, it's not very probable because prices could turn, pull back to the EMA and then go lower. So we wait for the um, high um, potential setups here. Prices pushing lower and lower. 
I'm extending this channel because when you can see a first break of a channel and a couple of retested uh, retests, that means prices making new lows after new lows, then most likely it is that you have um, a bigger channel structure here in play. So prices breaking this channel, making a couple legs to your new low now and reversing. Uh, no setup here to take. So this channel here could be played out by now. And now we are turning again and we are pushing above the EMA again after this uh, sell off here. The bulls are getting more power and pushing above the EMA. And I want to show you uh, where prices bounced here and they bounced exactly at the um, overnight highs. You can see here, this is the overnight price action. So that means like potential sellers uh, that were selling here um, and selling all the way down here uh, were disappointed when prices turned and prices turn higher here. So all the sellers that are potentially stuck uh, at this level here, they come out of their trades, they can take break even, they can take profits by coming to this level again. And you will see many times that prices are retesting the overnight highs or lows and then taking off from there. And the same happened here. We can see this is the overnight um, highs and prices are touching it pretty much to the tick and now finding suddenly some support here. So this is a sign you can you can have a look at this. Um, the same happened yesterday, for example, and we are pushing strongly higher here. So it's I think it's time to draw a shorter term channel like this for now. And I'm zooming in a bit more because otherwise it's hard to see. We have a push above the EMA. Now a pullback to the EMA waiting for the reaction. And you can see the reaction is positive. The EMA is providing some support here and we are trending higher from there. So maybe it's time a bit to change the trend channel. Um, going sideways here now, you can see this is like bars are stacked up to each other. Going sideways here still, finding some more support without touching the EMA. You can see the lows that are made here going higher and higher. You can see this low here. Then at the next swing, we are a bit higher than the last low. And at the next swing, we're even higher than that. But we're not even touching the EMA. So that's always an indication that prices will go higher here. And we're pushing strongly above the EMA without giving us a setup. So now this is interesting because if I'm extending the channel like this, we get a new high here, first entry, second entry long. But the only problem I have with this is that the bar is finishing so far above the EMA. If the bar finished like here, then I would feel better taking a trade here also, we didn't touch the EMA, uh, this like flying a bit above the EMA, the same uh, we had before. Where was it? Um, here. You can see prices were flying a bit above the EMA um, and finding support here. Same is happening here now. I mean, this is like minimal. It's like we are almost touching the EMA, but with the fact that we are finishing so far above the EMA, I'm not feeling comfortable taking a trade here. And it was the right decision because prices let you in and um, yeah, stop you out. But now it's getting very interesting because you can see um, this is more like a hidden second entry. You can see prices made a new high here, pull back uh, higher, second leg down. And this is an inside bar. If you know me, you know that I don't like to take um, trades in inside bars. Um, if you split it down on a lower tick chart, then you would see like, for example, 
two clear legs down here and you could also see that prices and momentum is changing in this bar but it's just a rule of thumb for me that i'm not taking trades um, in inside bars so um, if you are a bit more um, friendly let's say to inside bars then this is a nice setup to take um, you can also see there is some uh, support here from this range before we have the EMA here and um, yeah so really it really depends on how you treat inside bars um, but me personally I'm staying out of it because many times I um, I lost on on inside bars so I told to myself that I will not take trades when they are forming with inside bars this bar here is an inside bar of this big bearish bar before if for example we take lower here um, or even if we finished higher here like higher than this uh, high of this bear candle then maybe it's to consider mm, but for me personally um, I don't like to take this but I know um, I spoke with some of you guys uh, you took that so um, yeah the trade works out here so congrats on that and I think you would even have a runner because prices are not coming back to your entry level here and prices are taking higher and we are approaching also the highs that were made here at the big uptrend channel and uh, notice from before we were not making any new highs here so after a drop lower here we are testing these highs one more time you will see this sometimes that um, for example the the bulls are not able to break through a certain level then they turn the market they take some let's say fuel some energy by selling off and then they're stopping out all the shorts that are entering here to take a new try or take a new attempt to break the last highs and this very much looks like this i must say because with this big sell-off i i can assure you many traders were thinking okay um, we're going short from here we're going lower from here so let's add positions here going short and you can see this very big candle here this this candle is bigger than all the candles before um, and then suddenly prices are reversing here and uh, taking out the shorts that were adding here and of, of course the shorts are um, taking profits so that gives enough momentum to make another attempt to break this high here that was made in the uptrend so let's see what prices are doing and I think we have to adjust the channel a bit because um, it looks a bit off with this last swing here so I'm adjusting the channel midline uh, seems to be fine here and we're pushing higher here finding some support um, at the channel um, support line here but not at the EMA um, I, I was telling you that we wait for pullbacks to the EMA and this bar is flying above the EMA same as the other two examples that I already showed you but we are making a new high here so this big uptrend here broke and played out now by um, getting a new high from this newer green uptrend channel here and we have to see what's going on breaking this channel here for the first time also there is some um, like resistance you can see prices are not able to break through it but we made a new high we are above this blue line here pulling back so this is the first leg pull back second leg and now making an attempt to make a new high for this um, green uptrend here and we are able to make a new high so in my opinion both channels played out by now and right now it's hard to to uh, know what's going on because with both channels having a new high in play already um, i'm very careful in taking uh, any more longs i want to see like more price action and new structure that is developing for example that could be a spike and then a channel could transform from here 
or we are ranging like this could also be a range if you if you draw it like this for example um, so there are many possible things that prices could do we could also like reverse and going lower um, and we are guessing right now and guessing is never good we want to see what price action is doing so we are waiting uh, for price action um, and showing us what it's basically doing shorter term channel here first break i and this is a second entry long price is made a new high pull back second entry long here this is also a higher low but this is exactly inside the highs that were made here and there was some resistance and also we had already a new high in play here so i think i cannot take this long here directly into the highs you can see prices came up here and got rejected and forming now a higher low i'm very careful with like taking a long at this at this point if there was no retest yet then maybe but with the context i'm not feeling good taking a, a long here directly into this so um, i have to skip this and prices are turning higher here um, so maybe we're seeing some flatter uptrend now breaking this structure here testing the breakout area of this um, range that i drew Finding support, no setup. You can see um, there's a shorter term channel working lower first break, but no new low. So I uh, have to wait. And uh, yeah, this is going now um, back and forth. So maybe it's time to remove this range here and we can draw this spike and channel. Maybe that could be in play instead. But yeah, when we are not sure, uh, we wait for the structure to give us short um, entries. We are approaching now the channel support here. So it will be interesting to see what prices are doing from here. Uh, but yeah, you can see we are like flattening out from this spike here to a flatter uptrend. And if we find support here uh, that confirms this channel, then we are looking for longs still. Um, but yeah, we need confirmation for that. So that's it for today because this is live price action already. I will zoom out a bit so you can see all the trades. For me, one trade, usually I'm taking one trade and then I'm just observing. Um, I took this um, second entry long here. And uh, yeah, we were speaking about this uptrend break attempt of retesting the highs that was not enough so prices uh, sold off a bit and made another attempt then we made a new high and forming now a potential uh, new uptrend here also we're speaking about this setup here unfortunately it was an inside bar um, but in general it looks like uh, a double trap so um, and a hidden second entry long because let me zoom in here quickly. Uh, price made a new high here. First entry pullback, second entry, but you can see clearly two visual legs here. First leg pullback, second leg. So it's a visual um, second entry or I don't know, a hidden second entry as uh, Mac used to say. Mm, so this setup very interesting. Uh, just for me not because it is it's an inside bar maybe i get the chance uh, to to have a discussion with thomas about inside bars i will let you know because i know thomas uh, took this setup for example and some of you as well uh, but yeah this is just personal for me because many times i got burned on inside bars yeah that's it for today thank you for watching thank you for being part Please like and subscribe um, the channel and I wish you a great weekend and um, yeah, if you're still trading, um, I hope you will have some nice trades before uh, the weekend and otherwise uh, speak to you next week.